Hello everyone, Corrent here. Today I'm gonna show you a new feature I'm adding to uh, FPV Sim Timer 2.1.0, which is gonna make the RSSI calibration experience a lot easier. Okay, here I got my timer powered up. Let's connect to it. Now we got the timer connected. And now if we go to the settings menu, you should see there are some changes on quad detection. Most notably, I'm gonna show you this new feature where we show the RSSI trend graph. So basically, this is a trend of, about the RSSI signals. Right now, I don't have anything powered on. You can see the RSSI is pretty stable, right? Now I'm gonna power on my quad, which has the VTX on by default, since I don't have a radio powered on at the moment. Now you can see the RSSI signal jumped up and then come down again as I unplug it. This feature gives you more insights on the RF environment on the field. And here we actually render also render two uh, horizontal bars, one for the RSS enter and one for the lead. So if there's any fault detection issues, you can actually use these bars and the graph to see what, what is going wrong or, do you, or if you need any adjustment on the RSSI peak values. So here I don't have any issues with the with detection because the peak always goes above the RSSI ender and then when it goes away, it always drops below the, the, uh, the yellow bar, the, RSS, the, 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 the quad leaf sensitivity. And also with this graph, I actually also learned one very um, nasty thing about, about the RX5808 is uh, as it powers on, right? As the temperature arises, the RSSI value kind of changes with the temperature. With higher temperature, it tends to give me higher RSSI values. Um, so this is an issue right now because we don't do dynamic uh, RSSI adjustment. In future release, I'll try to auto compensate for these temperature changes. In this release, you can also just uh, manually change the RSSI peak instead of going through the calibration process. Because we have this graph now, we can just see what is the best RSSI uh, peak values to choose. That gives you most robust quad detection. Note that this feature do uh, add more traffic on Wi-Fi. So if you are down with the diagnosis, feel free to just disable it to make the wireless connection more robust. I almost forgot to mention, to use this feature, you have to update both firmware and software to 2.1.0. Please make sure you have updated both sides. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll post an update when the new release is out.